What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Officer Sully here, man, and I just wanted to do this quick 5M graphics tutorial because uh, I wanted to shed some light on this graphics pack that I purchased that uh, I really enjoy, man. I've gone through every paid graphics mod you can possibly think of, NVE, Quant V 3.0, Realism Beyond, and the list goes on and on and on. From paid to free, I've used them all, and I'm not going to lie, man, I thoroughly enjoy this. There's so many different features of this that just make it that much better, and I don't even have to use Reshade. I don't, I'm not even using and reshaded mine right now i absolutely love it and uh, i just wanted to shed some light on it man it, it, it's 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 very good in my opinion i like it a lot i like the way the sun looks all of that stuff uh there's different stuff that goes in it like you know the graphics the, the gore you know what i mean makes it look a lot more realistic and also with buying this you know also depending on which one you purchase it, it comes with sound effects which the guns sound even better man the tire screeches from everything it's just complete overhaul and uh, I, I really like it. Uh, a little bit of an overview before we get into it, guys. I'm running a 3060 12 gigabyte overclock graphics card with an Intel i7. I forget the numbers. Um, I'm doing 32 gigabytes of RAM and whatnot. So I wanted to point that out there that I am running that. And I run my game uh, 5M and Grand Theft Auto 5. I run that all on max settings. Uh, I just want to point that out as well. This is a little preview of a picture that I thought looked one of the better pictures uh, that were in the Discord. So I wanted to share this with you guys. But to get this, guys, the link will be for UNG's graphics. will be down in the description. That's where you got to go to purchase it, guys. Um, and you, you, you go in here. So uh, pricing of this will tell you right here, guys. You can buy these specifically out. Like I said, I paid for the lifetime pass for the graphics. Uh, that gives you everything um, from old packs uh, to new packs that come out, all of the remastered ones that they do, or you can do one-time payments to get get which one you want. I currently use Collection 4. It's the one that I thought looked the best to me. Um, and you can also buy their sound effects packs, uh, uh, one-time purchases uh, as well. So you go down in the description, uh, you grab the link for their Discord, and you purchase it through here. It's completely... Uh, um, it's completely... Um, Legit, uh, I didn't get scammed. I paid through Cash App, and then I was instantly granted lifetime access to the Discord, as you can see right here. Over here, guys, I'm here somewhere. Right here, boom. This is me, lifetime pass member. Absolutely love this graphics mod, man. So once you purchase it, right, once you purchase which one you want, whether you do the collections, and I know all the collections go the same. I don't know about remastered. I know those are a little bit different. I'm not too familiar with those, but we're going to go off of Collection 4 today, all right? Um, and you can go down and you can see there's a bunch of previews of which one you like uh, for you, which one's best for you. So you see collection two, uh, collection, uh, sorry, collection two, three. Uh, and honestly, I'm not going to lie, two looks pretty good as well. Uh, and if we go to U1D shots, this is from him himself. I just like the way the game looks, man. I think it looks really good. I think everything to me looks really good. So that's why I went with it. Um, but once you want to come down here, uh, and you buy the one you want, uh, you go to client area, guys, and you're going to go down to which one you want. I'm going to go collection four, so you just download that. All right, continue to download. Perfectly fine to download it. Um, and another thing that you have to grab, guys, is I'll go ahead and show you right here, is you're going to need Visual V first. You're going to need Visual V. That's uh, one of the requirements. I wouldn't say requirements. They do say put it in there. I don't know if it's a requirement or not, but nonetheless, they say to get Visual V first, all right? And they also recommend in this, guys, that if you do have any graphics mods at all in the game, to just completely wipe and restart so there's nothing overlapping with each other. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get Visual V downloaded as well. Link will be in the description for that. All right, so we got Visual V right here. Uh, let me minimize or shrink that because I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. So we got Visual V. Once you get Visual V open, we're going to go to the mod installation via mod package, and then you're going to double click on Visual V OIV, and then it's going to open this up. And this is why we have to have open IV so we can open the file just like this, all right? You're going to go to the content folder, and then in this content folder, guys, uh, once we get here, we're going to need to also uh, open up not our GTA 5 directory. We will need that, but we're not going for the GTA 5 directory yet, actually. Uh, let me correct that. Uh, we're going to go to 5M. So right-click on your 5M, open file location. It will bring you to where your file location is. And I always go to, I'll go back to the local file, and I'll just pin this for quick access. So I have it uh, every time. It will just be over here. So this will bring me right to my 5M folder. And then we're going to go to 5M application data. And we're going to do update RPF right here. And then you're going to go common and then data. So you're going to go here. You're going to go citizen, common, 
and then data. This is your 5M directory. And then this is open this data folder. All of this stuff going to be dropped right into this folder. Yours might look different than that. I already have it installed. So that is why. Now Visual V is done. All right. Visual V is done. All set. Ready to go. We can get rid of that. Yours might look different than that, but that's okay, guys. It's going to be done the same way. All right. We're going to open up our U1D graphics. All right. And then in this folder, we're going to open up U1D GFX C4. And then you're going to go to the install file. All right. There's four parts to this, guys. So just follow along with me. Part number one, we're going to click that. 5M application data. But before we go any further to 5M application data, guys, let's go back to the 5M application data, right? So let's be right here. So this is the folder. This is 5M application data. That's what this folder is. So double click that. All right. And then you're just going to follow this back and forth. So we're going to go citizen, citizen, common, common, data, data. All right. Now that we're in here, we're going to drag all this, drag and drop it right into here. You might not have to replace files. That's perfectly fine. It's because I already have it in there. That is why. All right. Then we're going to go back here uh, to all the way back till we get to the where it says part one, two, three, four. All right. Now we're going to go part two. Same thing, guys. Let's do let's do the same thing. Let's go back to the beginning, right? 5M application data, 5M application data. Plugins, plugins. These right here. Boom. We're going to drop these right in the plugins folder, guys. Okay. I have to replace mine only because, again, I already have it in there. But this is for ENB. All right, and we'll go back and we'll go back over here and we'll go back again and then back one more time. We'll stay in our 5M application data folder, all right? Now we're going to part three, part number three. Open that folder. Again, 5M application data. We're going to go to the mods folder, all right? And then we're going to go to the mods folder here. Your folder probably will be empty if you did this completely, um, completely fresh and brand new. It probably won't look like that, okay? So we're going to, again, drag all this. As you can see, the different mods, the ragdoll, uh, the procedural shadows, better shadows, animation core. Uh, there was a gore one in here, I thought. Blood. Sorry, it's blood. U1D blood. It looks super realistic, guys. Absolutely love it. Replace because I have to replace. I'm doing this with you guys. I want to show you that I'm literally doing it with you guys. All right. We'll go back all the way on this. All right. There we go. Now we're going to go to part four, GTA directory. This is going to go in your GTA directory, guys. So again, to find your GTA directory, right? Mine's my, on my C drive. Program files times 86. Steam. Uh, Steam apps. Common. And then Grand Theft Auto 5. This is the one I use for 5M. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Uh, let me shrink this down a little bit. All right. And then we're just going to take these, drag these into our GTA 5 directory, right? Drag them right into the GTA 5 directory. I'm going to replace because I've already done it. And that is it for the graphics pack itself, guys. That is completely it for the graphics pack. I'm going to load up 5M and then I'm going to show you. And then we're going to, um, and I'm going to show you what they look like. And then I'm going to come back and show you that if you did buy the lifetime pass, then I'm going to, so we're going to go into 5M. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then uh, I'm, uh, I guess let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you guys bought the lifetime pass and you need help with the sound effects because there's a couple of archive fixes you have to do with the sound effects to get it to work um, properly. So there's a process to that. I can make a video for that if enough people want to see the, the sound effects because I was definitely confused on it. But we're going to launch up 5M. I'm going to show you what these look like without reshade. We're just going to jump into a server. I'm going to show you what these look like. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Some people be like, that's a lot of money. But like I said, you can individually buy the collections. And I'm using collection four. You don't have to pay the 55. What the 55 does is get you any future update, any past update, um, get you all the sound effects in one charge. And that's why, uh, that's why I did it. Um, so yeah, well, I'm gonna be with you guys in the game. We're going to show you around, show you what it looks like. We're inside the game now. All right. We are good now. We are buckled up. We don't have, to ah, all right. As you can see, these are what the lights look like. Super nice, man. I wish it was night out so you guys could see. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, man, this is what we're looking at for this pack. You could also add reshade in if you'd like. That's completely up to you. I'll give you guys a sound of what the... Uh, 
I didn't know if somebody was coming up behind me. I'll give you guys a sound of what the sound effects actually sound like, and I'll show you the gore here real quick. Um, but I'm trying to get over towards the beach is what I'm trying to do real quick. All right, so here we are. Turn the lights on. There we go. Beautiful lights, beautiful lights. All right, beautiful lights. Uh, let's hop out. We got a pistol here. All right, I'm going to show you guys what these sound like, the... Uh, uh, the gun sounds and whatnot. All right, super nice gun sounds. And like I said, I can make another video if you do guys if you guys do get the sound effects and show you how they work. All right, so as you can see, I don't know if my video will get flagged for this. Blood just looks a lot more realistic, dark. Right, and that's what they sound like. Absolutely beautiful. And we, if we go to this. And then the shotgun. Super great job by U1D, man. Uh, but that's really all there is to it, man. That's really all there is to it. This is what U1Ds looks like. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think. That's going to be all I got, boys. And I will see you all in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the noti bell. Peace.